Hello, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. Today we're going to be cleaning the venturi and nozzle that is inside this water softener. Maybe your water softener is holding water in the tank. That could be an issue. There also is a gasket in that venturi that could get worn out. I actually did a video on replacing that gasket about three months ago. And I'll place a video at the end of this video where you can go watch it and down the description below in this video. In that video, I changed the gasket and the problem of the water softener holding water inside the holding tank here where the salt goes went away. But I'm gonna show you how to clean that venturi and nozzle system and let's get to it right now. So the very the first thing you wanna do is close the water bypass, the water that comes into your water softener, you wanna bypass it. So you push this in. Now there'd be no water coming through the system and we can take that venturi apart and clean it. All right, the next thing you wanna do is remove these covers. Okay, you just want to be careful because there's wires in here that go to the digital controller. And this, hopefully you can see that, this is the venturi I'm talking about. So we're going to disconnect it here and here, and we're going to take it apart and we're going to clean it all with soapy water. Okay, so we're going to disconnect this hose here. You may also want to check this hose. It goes down into here into the tank and into there's like a tube in there that has a plunger system in there. You want to look and make sure that this hose is not plugged. Okay, I had to grab a pair of needle nose pliers to grab this clip here. That kind of holds your venturi in place. I'll be careful for the wiring here. And take it we take the venturi out okay we're going to clean these nozzles make sure everything's clear we're going to clean inside here under the cap and we're going to remove all the parts in here including the gasket clean everything in soapy water all right here we are at the sink i'm going to take the venturi apart and we have to be careful we don't drop any parts so that's the cap and then there's an o-ring in here actually probably i'll lift out to, together And there's our O-ring. And then we have all these parts here. So we have this ring. Remember which way everything goes in. We have the screen. This comes out. And inside here is a little nozzle or gasket. So there we have our gasket. And then there's this. And then we have the gasket that I replaced on that last fix. This gasket here. You can't even tell when these are wore out. They just are. They get wore out and you can see like little tracking in here but you know they stretch maybe or something i don't know how they wear out but they do and you need to replace it this one here i think this is a whirlpool water softener i think this is called a 70 or t70 if you're looking for a gasket that's the number for it and then in here there is another little screen there we go so i'm going to dump this whole thing right in the soapy water and as you can see, we got another little cone screen here and one of these little rubber gaskets here. So I'm gonna add all these parts to the soapy water. We'll just let them soak there for a bit. Now these, these ports here, these water ports, you wanna make sure that they are clear. You may have to take, a, if you have a small brush that can fit in here and, and just like a pipe cleaner or something like that and clean them out and in here as well. Okay, now if I put the water in here, you'll see it shooting out of here. It's working really good. You see it peeing out of here? So that works good. We'll block, block those. You can see the water comes out of there fine. Block both of these. 
and the water pees out of there just fine. So everything's good. Just gonna flick the water off it and we'll put everything back together. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is make sure these flow plugs are clear and free. There's two, two rubber ones. There's two rubber flow plugs. Okay, they're good. Now we're gonna put this assembly back together. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take this little screen cone and put it in that hole right here to the, on the side. You put it downwards. Then we're gonna take one of the flow plugs and we're gonna put the concaved side of the flow plug in the hole first. Now we're going to put the gasket in place and you can see the gasket has a little groove here and there's a like a small keyway here. You want to put it, match those up, match that groove and the keyway if you want to call it that. All right now that that's in place you want to take this part here and put it in. Same thing, it's got the groove and the keyway, everything lines up perfect. Then we're going to take this other flow plug concave side down into its hole there. Then we're going to take the big cone screen. It's got the groove as well. And we're going to put it over top like this. Take this, I think it's the O-ring kind of tray, I guess you want to call it. And then we're going to put this O-ring in here like that. And we're going to put our cap back on. We're going to go back downstairs and we're going to assemble this back into the water softener. Okay, now we're going to install the venturi back into here. Here we go. Squeeze that in there. And put this, uh, this keeper in place. Squeeze that in there. Then we'll hook this tube back up. Make sure you don't cross thread the threads here. It's only plastic and we'll uh, snug this up and we're all done. Make sure our keeper's in place. Make sure this is snugged up good so everything's in place now. And we'll just put our lids back on. So again, if your water softener tank is, you're finding there's more water in there than there should be, that could be the issue, the venturi. Take it apart, clean it with all soapy water, put it back together, hook it back up, and then you can do a recharge on here to try it and, and make sure it's okay. Um, oh, mine is okay, I just wanted to show you how it's done, so I'm not gonna do the recharge. At the end of this video, there'll be a link to another video I did where I did the full diagnosis on what was making the water sit inside my tank. I found out it was the gasket inside the ventry, and but I sh I'll show you other things that could be a possible problem. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.